Hello, welcome to Sundance, Utah, home of Robert Redford's world-class Four Season Resort and the original home of the Sundance Film Festival. I'm Trieste Wild, and this is my cabin. Walking back up to the path from the yard, I'm inviting you for a little tour. The walkway lights up at night and is very romantic. The holidays have just ended and we're preparing for the film festival. So you'll see a few holiday decorations still. It's one of my friends. Sundance has so much activity in the winter, summer, and then spring and fall are the quieter times. Very peaceful. But just as much as it's a ski resort in the winter, it's a summer resort. In the winter, there's obviously some of the most beautiful, beautiful downhill skiing. This is a bar made out of the logs from the yard. And we have a Nordic Center up the road where there is cross-country skiing and snowshoeing. Beautiful, beautiful paths and wonderful views. The Nordic Center is home of the riding stables in the summer. In the summer, you can ride up the lift with your mountain bike, mountain bike back down, or you can hike back down. And we've got a beautiful waterfall to hike to, Stewart Falls. Outdoor summer theater and free films outdoors in the winter. The films are indoors at the screening room. The Utah Symphony plays in the summer. We have food and wine festivals. Uh, we have a, an art shack, which is actually a yurt that contains all the facilities for workshops in photography, pottery, jewelry, oil painting. We have an author's series at the resort where authors come in and speak. Uh, food and wine dinners. And um, Sundance Spa is incredible, just down the road from us. And by the way, we're about a half a mile from the base of the slopes. And it's about a 10 minute walk down, mostly through um, beautiful paths in the forest. This is the view from the back of the cabin. Great, great views at the cabin. This is my nature deck. <laughs> this is where all the birds come to play. The bird feeder and the bird bath. Flying squirrel comes out at night and so do the raccoons and the motion sensor lights come on when the raccoons are out so you can view them but do not feed them. Uh, the Stellar's Jays are, are gorgeous. We have about five of them. They're beautiful, huge, bright blue birds. The woodpeckers are amazing. We have 30 wild turkeys that run across the yard and play next door in the winter and about 15 of them stick around for the summer. All the doors in the cabin are custom done by a local artist. All our floors are heart pine, except for a couple of carpet runners and an area rug in the living room, so it's very, very easy to keep everything spotless and I am really a clean freak. You will never stay in a place as clean as this cabin. I use Hygienitech technology for my mattress and furniture sanitizing and you can find information on that online and I do it about every six weeks. You won't find dust under the beds or any of the furniture. Very, very clean. I probably drive my housekeeper nuts. <laughs> Picture windows everywhere. 16 foot ceiling, so this 1600 square foot cabin feels so much larger than the 1600 square feet. We have sofa bed downstairs and upstairs in the loft uh, den. And we've got a bedroom downstairs and upstairs with very comfortable queen size beds. The kitchen is fully stocked and deluxe equipment. Here's our back deck with a bent willow lounge chairs. This tree was cut down in one of the neighbor's yards. I asked if I could take it, so I found it a new home. New home for our Aspen. Master bedroom is what we're entering now. There's a master upstairs as well. Beautiful pine ceilings. 
and heart pine floors, access to the deck from the master bedroom, hand painted furniture, and of course a picture window. Entering the master bath, we've got another one of our custom doors and um, there's a jetted tub with a beautiful natural stone tub surround, floor to ceiling. Not your typical rental property furnishings, that's for sure. I've had such wonderful guests, I've never had any concerns with um, damaged pieces. Heading upstairs, we first enter our loft den, is what we call it, with our sofa bed. Entertainment center with games, TV, with uh, a VCR. Its own private deck with beautiful views, copper top, bar table and chairs, and we have double-sided velvet privacy draperies in the event someone is sleeping upstairs in the loft and wants privacy. Because loft areas are generally known to be very open. My most favorite desk, in case you actually have to do work here. It's the loft hallway, some interesting pieces, and a suede carpet runner. Wonderful views. Another privacy drapery, although it's not needed in this room. This is our second bedroom suite. Both of our beds have the most incredible mattresses and fluffy comforters. They are not down comfor comforters, they're down alternative for those who have allergies. And we have heated mattress pads in case you're one of those that wants to cuddle up in bed at night in the winter and not have to get into cold sheets. Here's my vintage tub. It's a Kohler vintage tub. It's not really an old tub. It's better. <laughs> and this, you'll, you won't want to get out of this tub for a long time once you get in it. The views out the window are of Mount Tempanogos and the trees. My antique door that I painstakingly refinished for the cabin. Natural stone floors. Here's the bed again. And a hand painted mirror. My pride and joy is the upstairs balcony. It's part of, uh, I designed it, it was part of my addition that I completed about a year ago. Catch those views. If you could see Mount Tempanogos, it looks like something out of Switzerland. It's the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful mountain. And from up the road, you can actually hike to Mount Tempanogos, but it's probably a eight or ten hour round trip, so you've got to make sure you're prepared. I do have a neighbor, and uh, they come in maybe uh, for a couple days, once every couple of months, so you just pretty much have total privacy. Well, I guess that's it. Please give me a call if you're interested in the cabin or if you have questions or if you're interested in Sundance or surrounding area real estate. I've got beautiful properties up here and other developments in the canyon and, and uh, down in Provo. It's been nice having you. Again, I'm Trieste Wild and I can be reached at 801-473 three three five eight. Goodbye.